What's up you guys and welcome back to Adulting with Joy Spring. Joining us now for this episode is a friend of mine who I haven't worked with or really hung out with for the past six years, right? But we both started our careers in TV as hosts at the same time. And today we are together with this project. Please welcome on the show, Martin Abiel! Yay! Yay! It's been too long, Joy, so too long. Together. To get work together, mm -hmm. I think that was like six years ago. Six years ago, ba? Nung grad ball, nung UST. Oh my gosh, yun yun. that's yun right. Yun na yun. But now we are back and uh, we're about to do mm -hmm. a mini episode, a mini soda of Adulting with Joy Spring. As you know, Adulting with Joy Spring is the how to's of your 20s told by a 20 something year old mm -hmm. traversing through life with gusto. 20 something meaning no uh -oh. specific numbers. No specific number. Because if I edit it every year, it's <laughs> hard. Eh, 25, 26, okay. tapos, so you know, 20 something. Until we reach 30 and we're like, we still have no idea what yeah. we're doing. Okay. Yeah, still have no we're idea. We're still 20 something. <laughs> really, if we reach 30. Okay. <laughs> okay. So today's topic is uh -huh. learning how, how to shift your career. So what were the things that you experienced when you finally shifted your career and, and how did it go about? Well, for me, because I didn't. Well, I started hosting 2011 mm -hmm. around that time when yeah. we started together. But after I graduated, I kind of, ano ba? Umiwas ako dun sa path na yon, and then I went into advertising, social media department, which mm -hmm. is a very far malayong craft from from hosting. Mm -hmm. But I still do it on the side. So okay. for me, I can still, you know, did it on the side, commercial modeling, hosting, but not full time. And mm -hmm. then. Until I decided to finally shift because I auditioned for an anchor job mm -hmm. in uh, ABS Sports mm -hmm. and then I got in. I got to commentate for a league but there was no security there okay. because it was just for a season. Mm -hmm. And then I resigned from my job and I just jumped into that. Wow. But I'm gonna, okay. That was the big jump for me and for the first time, I don't fall back. Man. Wait, so how do you know or when do you know that it's time to make that leap of faith and mm. transition to a different career or a different path entirely? For me, kasi, um, at first, una ka muna. Mm -hmm. um, when you don't understand how it works, how life works, or parang minsan malulunod ka na to the point na, okay, what's happening around? Mm -hmm. Just going with the flow here. I don't know why this is happening, why that is happening. But once you, you know, get a good grasp of life, mm -hmm. I think it it's it starts with knowing what you, what exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. Ayun, parang you have to be specific with it. Yeah. And then when you are specific with it, it usually happens for you. Mm -hmm. It, it, you have a sense of control yeah. of, of your life if you know what exactly what you want and then you move past it and then you you know have better goals after that but for me you know I think in freelancing in, in, in the careers that we have now it's very tough because you know you don't know the projects that's, that are gonna come yeah but for me just keep going and then keep improving mm -hmm. in your craft yeah. I think that's gonna be important more mm -hmm. than and also be nice to the people around you. That's, That's so important, uh, right? I, I love the three things that you really highlighted there. Sabi mo, una is you have to know what you want. Mm -hmm. And you have to have a, that clear vision in your head before you even jump and switch lanes. Because right. if you jump and switch lanes, you don't really know what you want to do. You're dead. You're dead, right? So one is that. Second is you constantly improve on yourself. Because I feel like sometimes people focus on the circumstances that they're fared with, yeah. what they get, right? Or what they have in their situation. But in reality, it's always about your response to the circumstances and situations. Yun talaga yung direct where you get into life. And finally, being kind to those around you. It's that's very, right. very important. Yeah, and it's also important for me uh, to have goals. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's important. May it be like a big goal. May it be like a specific goal. Let's say per year, may goals. It's important to have goals. Kasi pag wala, and you're just waiting for everything, mm. you're just flowing. The process is gonna be slower and the growth is gonna be ano ba, slower also and it's gonna be less in a you know given amount of time. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I feel like also it's really important to know na 
pag meron kang gustong gawin or meron kang mga list of things na ginog goals mo for a specific timeline, minsan hindi mo ma-reach or ma-achieve lahat but just to know na okay, nakarating ako doon or malapit na ako doon, maybe I can extend my timeline a bit more. It really helps you out because you have kind of like an overarching view or vision for your life. Because once you set your goal, you're sending it out to what? The universe? And everyone else there. So it's there. You know it's there, right? But the timeline here, you know, it can you can make you can make it happen for a year. Mm -hmm. Pero minsan mas matagal yung nangyayari. So you have to just keep going. Mm -hmm. Parang keep the faith that it's gonna happen eventually. Mm -hmm. That's right. Then you keep working hard. Okay, last question for okay. you. How do you stay disciplined? <laughs> Ooh. From, you know, you have to switch careers, right? And one of the things that you really learned from switching careers and to doing freelancing is kailangan talaga may disiplina. Mm. So, how do you keep discipline? Wow. Uh, it's, it's important also for us, especially mm -hmm. because we are in a morning show. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know this, but the people from the studio actually have different schedules with the people <laughs> who do location stuff. Iba. Uh, ibang iba. Kasi yep. in studio, meron silang pattern, mm -hmm. meron silang specific sleeping pattern, routine, you have to wake up at this time, pero yung mga nasa location, depende kung gaano kalayo. Mm -hmm. And I think, it's, it, paano ko ba si Hinaimintin? It's just all about covering all the bases. Like, okay. let's say, in this industry, alaming factors eh. Mm -hmm. You have to maganda yung katawan mo, mm -hmm. you have to look good, so you have to cover those things first. So take care of yourself. Take care of yourself okay. first. And then it's the mind thing. Let's like say we are in a morning show. Mm -hmm. And there's always an acceptance phase. Mm -hmm. Na parang, okay, this is gonna be my life now. <laughs> this is going to be... Ito na yung norm ko. Ito yung norm ko. Let's say, okay, kasi tayo, hindi naman pagigising ka kinabukasan, minsan may trabaho ka dun sa mm -hmm. gabi. Yep. The night before. So for me, even nag ganun kaliit, for me, it's important to condition your mind na, okay, this is gonna be your schedule tomorrow. You have to accept it na gigising ka ng gantong oras bukas because your body responds better mm -hmm. pag, pag ganon and you actually feel uh, rejuvenated kahit dalawang oras lang yung tulog mo. That's you have true. the energy to do all of the things that you have to do the mm -hmm. next day. So I think for me, it's in the mindset and it's just getting things done. For me, I mean, I'm, I'm a victim of, all of us are, have been victims of, you know, procrastination, mm -hmm. putting things off. For me, um, you know, one, it's, it happens at the right time. Two, you just have to do it. Yeah. Uh, just get it over with. It's gonna happen anyway. Don't overthink it. And then just do it. Get things done on a specific day. Awesome. <laughs> Grabe. Kailangan talaga ng disiplina and setting your mind Kailangan. into it. Eh. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you'll really just stumble and kind of lose yeah. your things. Uh, so, thanks very much, Martin, for being <laughs> on the you. show. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Adulting with Joyce Done. Ping and Martin Javier. We've yeah. got it, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Bowie! Hi! Are you happy I'm home? Yes, yes! Oh, wow! Hello, my love. Come here, Bowie! Good boy. Ow, ow, ow. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, yep. <laughs> Hello. Okay, 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 okay. Someone's getting too excited. Yes. Hello. <laughs> So, this has been Adulting with Joy Spring, the vlog version. Hopefully, you guys like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Put your comments down below if you have any suggestions or notes from what we talked about Kenya. And <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!